Okay, so I had some, hi hey, there's Buddy. I had a couple of questions and I thought I would kill several birds with one stone because one of the questions that I got was how do you tell somebody you forgive them? I was talking with somebody, a customer, about how he should tell his mother that he forgives her for all of the past. And he was having a lot of trouble doing that. And another question I got was, well, another request I should say is, people wanted to see more of Buddy. So here's Buddy, and there's Maggie. Maggie's hiding out. Baga, baga, baga. And there's Buddy. Baga, baga. Hey, Buddy. Show everybody, show everybody your, your pig manicure. Yes, it's so pretty. Okay, so, <laughs> so the answer is this. When I have trouble telling somebody that I forgive them, or when I have trouble forgiving someone, you know, that's really the issue. And you kind of want to sit down and clear the air and tell somebody, I'd like our relationship to have a fresh start. Oh, wait a minute. Bad lights. Okay, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. So you can see better. Here, buddy. Okay, so <laughs> when you stop, when you, want, when you want to start anew, start fresh, I should say, and tell somebody that you forgive them, but you have trouble doing it. Uh, what I have found to be the most effective for me and for many others is going back to one of the principles in our nine principles. Uh, by the way, I'm having an upcoming live course uh, on the principles and another course on communication tactics in general. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Uh, for more information on those, click the little info thing at the top corner once I have a chance to update it. Going back to those principles, Whatever you want, you have to be giving. You know, I can only possibly receive what I'm giving in this relationship. You know, anything missing from this relationship could only possibly be what I'm not giving. And that goes both ways. So many times when you're having trouble forgiving somebody or even just telling them that you forgive them, try asking them for forgiveness. And on many different levels, that is an extremely effective communication tactic because, for example, let's say that one of the reasons you're having trouble forgiving somebody is because they don't even know that they've done something that hurts you. And so you need that validation <laughs> that they know so that you can forgive them. Now, in a perfect world, hey, buddy, come here. They're waiting to talk to you. In a perfect world, that's really not the point of forgiving somebody. <laughs> but if you practice this tactic that I'm going to share with you, it tends to satisfy that need. Well, I need you to know how much you hurt me, even though that really shouldn't be the thing we're looking for. When you ask somebody, for example, let's say that I were having trouble forgiving my mother. I might sit down with her and say something such as, Mom, I wanted to talk with you today because I want to ask you to forgive me because I've been harboring something for a long time in this relationship, and I know that it's affected our relationship, you know, because as a side note, how could it not? If you're harboring I can't stand my internet service provider. <laughs> but at that point, usually when you tell somebody, you know, I'd like to ask you to forgive me because I've been harboring this, that I know it's affected our relationship on many different levels, and it's not fair to you that I've never really discussed this with you, so I'd like to ask you to forgive me for that. People will be like, what, what, oh my gosh, I didn't know, oh, and it, it's such a non-confrontational way of bringing something to somebody's attention that generally at that point they'll say, my gosh, you know, I didn't even know that I did that, I'm so sorry, or, you know, I apologize for having made you feel that way, or whatever it is. It's a great way for you to tell them what's been bothering you if you haven't done that yet. And generally at that point, it, they're so taken off guard and it's so simple for them to apologize because it's, it's such a non-confrontational way. Uh, <laughs> sure, I can make a video on that. Uh, that generally at that point, you'll accomplish both goals of forgiving them and also they will be forgiving you because if you've been harboring something and you haven't been able to forgive them, maybe you should ask for forgiveness. So. That is my strategy for those of us who are having trouble forgiving somebody. Uh, I found that to be very effective for me, and I hope you find it to be effective for you. If you do, please give me a, a shout out or comment on this video and let me know how it works for you. And uh, I'm redoing my website, so I apologize that it's a total disaster. It's a total disaster.
But uh, I hope that it's finished soon and you can find lots of great stuff there. So buddy, buddy, say goodbye, buddy. Say goodbye, everybody. Say it's been fun. And Maggie should come out here any minute now to uh, bite Buddy's head off because he's stealing the limelight. Right, Buddy? Haka, baka, baka. Haka, baka, baka. <laughs> okay, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Since you've asked, Mystery71, how, do a video on how to not be so serious. Can you tell me a little bit more about what is going on there? <laughs> Have you tried putting a dog in your video? <laughs> Yeah, 